Hey guys, if you already know what orange pie is, then feel free to jump the intro section from the timeline below. So today I'll be talking about how you can host your website just under $30. Uh, so normally you would pay a third party to host your website, probably something like GoDaddy or Hostinger, and then you would buy a monthly or a yearly subscription over there. But with this method, you would have to pay just once and then you are good for lifetime. So that's the overall idea of this video. So if you are familiar with web development before, you would know that you can do something similar using probably GitHub or S3. Uh, S3 is a product of AWS, Amazon Web Services. Uh, you can do a similar thing over there without paying anything actually. but. The downside of using S3 or GitHub is that you can do it only for static websites as far as I know. Uh, so please correct me if I'm wrong down in the section, uh, comment section. But as far as I know, you can just do it for static websites. But in order to do it for dynamic websites, uh, like wherein you want something more complex, you want a database and you want to use PHP, Python, class, Django, something like this, you can't do it using S3 or GitHub. And today's uh, video is to cover on that topic basically if you want to have a a little more complex website uh, using these different frameworks uh, you wouldn't have to pay to somebody else to host your website please bear in mind that probably you don't want to use this for a more production kind of a website probably you want to start your own startup or uh, you want a website where you expect a lot of traffic so probably this is not the right way to do it because you need something where you would have the flexibility of easily scaling and scale out if you have more traffic like those kind of things this is more from the standpoint where you want to build probably your personal website you want to share it with the different recruiters or you want to work on a project like you want to build your own expense tracker which is secured uh, residing locally and you don't have to worry about anything sto storing anything on cloud or you want to build your own smart home server like those kind of stuff you can definitely do using uh, this approach so one thing more i quickly wanted to touch base on is sbc which is single board computers uh, if you have heard about raspberry pi before uh, many people use it nowadays in their own personal projects uh, so raspberry pi is a single board computer which allows you to program and uh, do really fun and good stuff with it but nowadays uh, you probably already know that it there is a shortage in market and if you get a hands-on to a raspberry pi it's going to be very expensive so orange pi is a very good alternative solution yeah there is an orange pie and it comes into different flavors like it there is a i think banana pie as well so yeah uh, i'll be using orange pie as an example in my video today uh, and you can probably do something similar using raspberry pie as well cool so jumping right into it uh this is the website uh you uh you you can go through this website and see what exactly is orange pie what is the what 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 different configurations it has and uh, orange pie also comes in different uh configurations like different kind of boards there are orange pie zero the orange pie zero lts then two three four five and i think there is six as well or probably not it's just five lts as of now so just just quickly going through the steps what what we will be doing in this video so first we'll install operating system for orange pi uh, i'll be installing ubuntu uh, then we'll be setting up the environment uh, third step is installing flask so flask is a framework which will which which will help us to build web application the fourth would be uh, running our website like a, just a hello world website probably you can uh, include more uh, things inside it like html codes and css javascripts and everything but if you need help in that 
do let me know i would create another video probably for the next time uh, to go around this flask framework but yeah so once we have a hello world website we'll run it and we'll try to access it using a private ip address which would just work on our uh, local and uh, network area uh, not out, out, outside of our land just lo local area network access and then we'll try to access our website from public and that's the final step so we'll go through how to obtain a domain name for our website uh, I'll be using a free domain name for this example but you can go ahead and you can also uh, use GoDaddy or some, some other service hosting or something else and then probably you can get your own domain name as well. If you go into the download section, you will be able to get different images, different operating systems, different images. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be taking example and we'll be installing Ubuntu. Okay, so now we have the image with us. Uh, we use our SD card and we we'll put it inside our computer. In order to write that image into the SD card, we need Win32 Disk Imager. So I am going to install that. And now we will go ahead and select our image and write it to our SD card. Cool, so we'll plug our SD card into the orange pie. And to power our orange pie, we need micro USB cable. And the toughest part. Yep, I'm nowhere close. Yes, finally. We need an Ethernet cable to bring our orange pie into the network. And now we have to go to our router. So for me, it is Telus. Uh, probably it would be something else for you. Uh, the reason we are doing this is to get the IP address of our orange pie so that we can go inside and install dependencies. So for me it was under the Ethernet section uh, but if you can't find it uh, probably you can just do a control F and just write it down orange pie. I'll copy the IP address and I'll open a PowerShell window and then I'll simply do SSH. Uh, so one important thing here is that uh, the default user and password for Orange Pi is root and Orange Pi. So 
I'll put it down on the screen but yep root and the password is orange pie so the first thing I like to do uh, is to run sudo apt-get uh, update so that I get the latest uh, dependencies for my Ubuntu and then I would just check which Python version we have here so for us it's Python 3.6.9 now I'll go ahead and install flask cool so we have flask now uh, again I like to just quickly test that it is working fine and we don't have any kind of failures and it's working fine so yep let's go ahead and create our app Now the app is running, uh, we just quickly want to check if it is working fine through the IP address as well and yes it is. So we have the hello world. So the last piece of the puzzle is to get our domain name. I am using DuckDNS for this since it is free uh, and I am basically getting a subdomain name instead of a domain name but you can go ahead and use GoDaddy uh, and get your exact domain name. One other important thing is to get your public IP address so that you can link that IP address to your new domain or subdomain name. And for the last time again you have to go to your router and you have to enable port forwarding for your Orange Pi IP address. And that's it. Now I'll quickly show you how you can test. So I am going on to my browser, mobile browser, and I'm switching off my Wi-Fi and using, no, not the private IP, but I have to use my new domain or subdomain name. Uh, and if the connection goes successful, then yeah, it works. And yes it works cool so this was a very simple example to show how you can have your own website uh, but do let me know if you need a follow-up video if you want to uh, have a walkthrough of more complex kind of a website wherein I would use HTML CSS JavaScripts 
uh, all those kind of things and then I would integrate that with uh, Python uh, and also let me know if you would like to have a more detailed orange pie video and yep thanks for watching have a nice one bye bye